Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the Samsung Galaxy ROM for the Acer A500. It has the great TouchWiz UI that everybody's been talking about for honeycomb tablets. Let's get to it. Now, let's start off with the digital clock here and um, also the weather uh, widget which if you uh, click on it it will give you the whole view of the forecast of the next upcoming days you can see that we also they also added the uh, ASUS uh, weather widget and uh, we also have the active applications this is like your task manager which will actually give you the task manager if uh, you click on it. We also have the agenda widget. It's actually similar to the uh, stock honeycomb but uh, you just skinned it. Uh, it's also resizable. You have the AP mobile widget which, uh, which gives you uh, pictures of news over the internet. This is your email widget. Uh, pretty standard. Just like the one uh, for, for stock honeycomb. Now this is your social hub widget. Um, you can uh, link your Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn accounts. Um, these uh, buttons here, or these people here, is called the buddy widget. If uh, you want to uh, add a, uh, a certain uh, contact, all you need to do is just click on buddy and um, click on someone and he or she will be added automatically. Now this is the gallery widget. It displays your uh, gallery which uh, changes from time to time. You can also uh, reconfigure or resize the, the entire widget. So you can quickly go to one to page five just by clicking on the circle, page one, page 3 so it's very convenient this is the bookmark widget you can also resize that just as you can see here I just tried a few uh, sizes uh, here and here and here way to uh, place widgets using gestures you can just pinch or hold on a certain widget uh, tilt the tablet from side to side and uh, it will automatically change from desktop to desktop. Now another thing that you will notice on the lower right hand side if you will look here uh, are the settings. These are all skinned. The mini apps tray can be located at the bottom part of the screen in the middle. You will see the arrow here on this part and uh, once you click that another app tray will appear on the bottom of the screen and uh, you, all you need to do is just click that and it will bring that one up now this is uh, really a great way of uh, multitasking is uh, for example if you're if you're uh, go going online all you need to do is bring up the mini app tray click on the calculator and it will automatically pull up uh, the calculator or if you need to set up a uh, a uh, calendar uh, agenda all you need to do is click on the calendar and it will display to you the 30-day calendar and uh, your tasks for that specific date and if you need to go to the actual calendar application all you need to do is just click on the the arrow above it will give you the entire uh, calendar now you also have a screen capture button here wherein you can just click on that and it will capture what you have on the screen now what we're using here is the uh, Samsung keyboard pretty responsive and it's pretty fast even faster th than the uh, 3.1 stock browser which I really really like so the music app does not use your typical uh, Android Honeycomb uh, music player, but kind of looks like that.
sound uh, quality is pretty awesome. Now the world clock is, I think, this greatly designed for the TouchWiz user interface. So all you need to do is just search for the country. And, uh, all you need to do is click on the plus sign here to add it. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And uh, see, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find us at Facebook and uh, Twitter. I'll be posting links down below how to contact me on those social media pages. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye. Finish.